After all these years, Unity hasn't been able to provide a feature where you can simply add a loading screen between your game scenes. Despite that fact, implementing a loading bar in Unity is one of the most easiest things that you can do for your game projects. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to create a loading bar or a loading scene that allows you to load game levels seamlessly. For this project, we'll be using Jan Lemos Hunt and Jean, Jean 3 to beginner game project. If you're interested, you can also download this from the asset store. I'll put the link in the description. To start, we'll create a new scene. We'll call this main menu. So hit save, open scenes folder, and name it main menu. For this scene, we're going to create a button that will lead us to the main game. But before we do that, let's head to our build settings and click add open scenes. This will uh, add the main menu scene but we also need to add the main scene. So let's just drag it. And so you can see we have two scenes, main menu, which is this one, the main scene, which is the game scene that we played a couple of minutes ago. All right, so close that, make sure you save your project. And the next thing we're going to do is to create the button. So right in the hierarchy, hit right click, select UI, and then select button. And we're going to rename this to start game. Then next, we're going to resize this to Feel free to whatever size you want. So for the width, let's just say 250 and then the height is 100. The next, let's just open the start game button and select text. And then right here in the text component, we'll just change this to start game. And then we're going to make this bold and the size to something like 28 and make it center, center. All right, there you go. Now we have a button. And then next is the script. So let's head to our scripts and then create a new C Sharp script. And then we'll call this level manager. Once it's created, open that with your Visual Studio. All right, so we're here now in level manager script. The first thing we're going to do is to use Unity Engine unity engine dot scene management this will allow us to use few functions inside unity engine like load level asynchronize so we're not going to use void update as well as start function we're going to create a few variables but we're going to do it later on for now we'll just create two function which is the public void load level and then we're given a parameter of string we'll name this uh, level name and then close that with curly braces and the next is uh, private I enumerator and then we'll call this load level asynchronize and then give it a string parameter we'll call this level name as well and then close that with curly braces and the next thing we're going to do just ignore the error over here because we need to yield return but we're going to do that later for now we'll just create a, a variable called a sync operation and we'll call it operation like that and then let's give it a value of scene manager this is from the scene management scene manager that load scene async and we'll give it a value of level name which is the value of level name all right, so the next is right over here in the load level, we're going to start coroutine, start coroutine, and then we're going to use the load level async function, and we'll give it a value of level name as well. If you noticed, we have two functions, and then since this is an I enumerator, we're going to use start coroutine. All right, next, now we have the uh, operation, async operation variable. Uh, what what it does is it will give us an idea if the operation is finished, if the load scene async is finished loading. So we can check that by using while function and then operation is done. So it will check while operation is done, but we need to use this symbol. What do you call it actually? But we need to use the not symbol so it will look like while it is not done, while it's not done, then what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve the value of the operation progress. So we're going to create a new float variable over here and we'll call this progress and we'll give it a value of um, operation. Actually, no, uh, mathf that clump 01 and then we're going to apply operation dot progress like that. Then 
plus that with semicolon. And the next thing we're going to do is to just debug this and then debug that log. I'm sorry, that log and then apply the progress. Just close that with semicolon. And then lastly, we need the yield return null. As you can see, the error is gone. All right, save that and get back to Unity to save the script. There you go. And the next thing we're going to do is to create an empty game object and we'll just call this scene manager. There you go. And next, let's just drag the level manager to scene manager transform and just drag this at the top so it's organized. And the next is select start game button or the transform. As you can see over here in the button component, we need to apply a non click event. So the list is empty. Let's just select the plus button over here and then just drag the scene manager right over here in a runtime only object. Select no function and change it to level manager and then load level. And then right here we have a string input. So we can just give it a value of main game on main scene, I think. You can just check that in the build settings. As you can see, we have two scenes, main menu, which is this one, and then a main scene. And that's what we want to load, main scene. All right, so close that. Make sure you save your scene. All right, so if we try the game and check the console, we should have a value coming out from the console. So we have the start game. If we click start, it will load, it should load the main game. So click start. As you can see, it gives us a value of 0, 0 0.4, and then 0 0.9, and then 1. When it reached 1, it loaded the scene. Very nice. All right, so let's just not run that again, and then just clear the console. And right over here, we're going to create the progress bar. To do that, let's just select canvas, right click, select UI, and then panel. And then let's just rename this to progress panel. There you go. And then if you want, you can just change the output to 255 once again, remove the background so it's plain white like that. All right, next, select the progress panel, hit right click, select UI and select text. We have a text over here. Let's just align this in the center and then design it to whatever you want. You can make it bold, give it a volume 28, make sure it's truncate from truncate to overflow then make it center, center, and then you can just put it down a little bit because we want the progress bar in the center. Give it a 55 position for Y and then change the text from new text to something like, like this, like just for the placeholder. All right, next, progress panel, just right click, UI, and then slider. We're going to use the slider as our progress bar. So right over here, interactable, uncheck that color tint, make it none, and then whole numbers, make sure it's whole numbers, and they give it a maximum value of 100. There you go. Next, select slider, open that, and just delete the handle slide area. If you want, you can just change the fill color, select fill area, and then inside of that, there's a fill transform, and then in the image, you can just change the color to something like yellow. I like yellow. There you go. And then next, let's just rename the slider from slider to progress bar, like that. And the text, let's rename it from text to progress value text, like that. And yeah, we're pretty much done. The next thing we're going to do is just update our code and use the progress panel, the progress bar and the text to tell the gamer or the player that, hey, we're loading the game. Go. So open your Visual Studio and we're going to create a set of variables over here. So we we'll start with serialize field because this will be a private variable and give it game object type and call this progress panel. Plus that with semicolon. Next, uh, we're just going to copy this three times. I'm just going to rename this from progress panel to progress bar. Next is progress text, progress value, just progress value. There you go. And then next, we're going to use actually using Unity Engine and then UI class. There you go. Save that. Don't forget to save your scripts. And then change the game object to slider and then the game object to text. There you go. Just gonna comment this out. We don't need that anymore. 
And first is right over here in the load level, we need to enable the progress panel. So that we're just going to use progress panel that set active to true. Like that. Close that with semicolon. Actually, we need to just use public void awake. And then uh, progress panel. Go to use progress panel and then set active to false. And because of that, uh, the progress panel will be disabled as soon as we run the game. And then once we click the start game button, it will set active. It's active to true. Just like that. All right. So next is we need to apply the value of progress to our progress bar and then progress value text. So to do that, let's just uh, type in progress bar dot value is equal to progress. We go just like that. And then next is uh, should be progress bar progress value dot text is equal to progress times 100 and then I'm just gonna close that with parentheses and then type in to string like that and give it a value of f0 and then concatenate that with percentage sign it's like that oh no it's supposed to be plus sorry there you go uh, actually we have a mistake over here because the progress bar value is 0 to 100 and the progress the value of progress is 0 0.0 to 0 0.9 so actually we need to update the progress bar yeah uh, hit save let's go back to unity and then right over here in the progress bar we need to change it from 100 to just one there you go. And just hit save, clear. And then if we select our scene manager, we have three variables over here. The progress panel, the bar, and then the value. So what we need to do is just drag it over here, the panel, and then the bar right over here. And then the value text, just in the progress value. And there you go. Hit save. And if we run the game, it should go away. There you go. Now the panel is turned off. And if we click start game, it should enable the progress panel and it should show us that, hey, the game is loading. So if we hit start game, there you go. Now it loaded. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a progress bar loading bar for your game projects to load your game level seamlessly. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe if you want more. And I just want to say that, yeah, Weekly How is meant for Shopify or, you know, uh, we create most of the time Shopify tutorials. Shopify app development tutorials, but this time we wanted to, we decided to broaden our niche. So expect, expect, expect from us to upload Unity tutorials. And I hope you guys understand that. But anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you again next time. Take care as always. Goodbye.